What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. Have you ever read any Benjamin Solak? It's interesting. He's, a, he's kind of a nerdy little white uh, guy. Yeah, there was something I disagree with him with the other day. Um... Gosh, I think he called the Chargers a non-playoff team. Uh, I don't know. And I was like, hey, bud. He did point out in his Saints article that Go do Alvin a pull-up. He, he, he pointed out in his Saints article that Alvin Kamara is second only to J.K. Dobbins in rush yards before contact right now. So they must be doing something right. But Solak, uh, he's like he is. Yeah. He's like a, he's like a l- little white nerdy guy who's obsessed with football, mm-hmm. and he writes about it in a very um, – I bet analytics is a big part of what he does. He definitely, It's definitely a big part. Uh, but but you know he he gets he loves to get nerdy about things like personnel usage and all these other sorts of things, and he has a bit of a master class in um, breaking down this Saints offense. I tweeted out that it's a must read. Go check out my Twitter if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, right now, right now the New Orleans Saints scoring four point three three points per drive. That's the best in the century. The fifteen consecutive scoring drives to start the season is the longest since nineteen seventy eight. Okay, um, but here's where it gets great. No team in the NFL right now has taken a smaller percentage of its snaps from 11 personnel. The Saints have only used 11 personnel 22% of the time. Now, these numbers without context mean nothing. League average, guys, is 61%. The Ravens have the second least usage at 32%. So you're not just using 11 personnel less than everybody else by a small margin. Right. You are going completely against the grain in terms of the personnel that that you are putting out there. And why that becomes impactful. Oh, and by the way, Mina Kimes pointed this out, Jake. I saw this. Yeah, so it. the Saints, Adam Prentice has been on the team since 2021. He has never played more than 125 snaps in a season. That's crazy. He has played 50 snaps through two games. That's the good stuff. Never played more than 125, and now he's played 50 in two games. The Saints are absolutely a 21 personnel team. And what this is doing is forcing the defense to go big on big. Yeah, They can't play nickel. So all of a sudden, Derek Carr has faced a base defense where only four defensive backs on the field. He's faced at 51% of the time this season. If that number would hold, that would be the highest number for a quarterback since 2013. So here you have, at a time when we're talking about how the passing game's stepping back, the running game is on the rise, the New Orleans Saints and Clinton Kubiak right now are at the forefront of rejecting modern offensive theory and say, no, we're going to do our thing, but we're going to do it to the extreme. Really, really impressive stuff from Kubiak. And I, and, and I love the context that Solak applies here with those numbers. All right, so here's the full breakdown of what they've been. They've been a 12 personnel team 45 times. That's 36% of the time. That's one back, two tight ends. And they graded out 83.1% in that personnel. Uh, 21 personnel, so two backs, fullback, tailback, and one tight end, 32 times. That's 25.6% of the time. They've actually graded out 85.9% in 21 personnel. It's their highest grade of any personnel. 11, 85.1 is the grade. 30 times, 24%. 22, they've actually been in 22, 11 times. So that's a that's a big number. Two backs, two tight ends, 78% of the time, or 78 grades. So that's pretty good as well. Uh, and then 13 personnel, five times, 83.4% is the grade. And and what's funny is, like, it's almost like 21.5 personnel because Taysom is both fullback and tight end. Yeah. A lot of times as well. So, like, it's, it's I mean, you are really, you are a two-receiver team, which, how genius is that, guys? You want to talk about. Because you really only have. Because you only have two, <laughs> right? Like, like, we kept talking about how mid the entire receiver room looked like, the, you know, the full breadth of it. But all of a sudden, okay, like you want to talk about an offensive coordinator adapting to what he has, then just don't play more than two because your two are good. Alave's really good, and Shahid's the best deep threat outside of Tyreek Hill in the league. Um, so some really forward-thinking stuff here 
from Clint Kubiak. And 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 we'll get into next segment, the Saints defending the run, defending Jalen Hurts, because that's the key to this game. But um, I love this final line from Solak because absolutely, like, a statistical regression is an inevitability, right? And I got questions about Jake. Will they remain committed to this stuff if they're mm-hmm. playing from behind? Right. Or will they start to panic and start to go, like, just, hey, we got to throw, throw it all over the place. Uh, but here's what Solak says uh, near the end of there. I'll quote, but what gives me faith that the Saints can sustain serious offensive success, not record-setting, mind you, but still quality success, is how well they're running the football. It's with the ground game that offenses punish those defenses that stay in lighter personnel to defend the play-action pass. Everything starts with the run. It's like my boy Durasic texted during the South Carolina LSU game. If you can't run the ball and if you can't stop the run, you can't play football. Mm. And right now, the Saints can run the ball. And we go figure out how well they sell the run. They, you know, when we're talking about these personnel that they're using, just to kind of give you an idea. So, 21-22 personnel, they've done it 43 times. All right, I would assume that the LA Chargers are probably second in the NFL in using I would, yeah, I would, I would, a two-back system. I could see that. Well, if you add Or maybe all, they said the Ravens. Ravens are tough because... No, it was just... Sorry, I'm trying to think how, how exactly... Well, the Ravens are tough because... Well, I thought that was 11 personnel, but the Ravens are tough. You're to, right, that's all it was. It was yeah. just 11 personnel. My the bad. Ravens yes. would be tough to grade yes. if it's two back because their fullbacks are really tight ends. Their tight ends yeah. are kind of receivers. So, But the Chargers have only used it 28 times. So 43 to 28, probably Damn. first to second. So they're first in two back runs and two back personnel by a pretty big margin. And I've talked with so many coaches at two different levels... Because, look, they, they know it's kind of my thing, and, and I'm always out there trying to get the fullback back yeah. in the game. And Wow, they've, it's finally paying off. Oh, my gosh. Somehow. They've, <laughs> they've started, like, they're like, hey, look, here's the deal. Teams are starting to figure out that linebackers are smaller, safeties are smaller. You have an advantage if you go out there and you have the old school two-back runs because you have the size advantage. And also, none of these linebackers growing up in peewee high school or college ever took on a two back run no they don't know how to take it on it's it's crazy the tail on these things right like the game literally went through evolution like an animal like fur turning brown because their environment changed or something like players got smaller they got yeah. faster nickel became the base defense and now it's all rubber banding back yep. the meta is changing and you're at the forefront of the meta. That's a good feeling, guys. I mean, you got Mel Kuyper trying to ban two high safeties because, like, why they, Why is everybody running so much? God, Mel, you're such a nerd. Yeah, n- like... That's the dumbest take. Like, the fact... And, and do, I I get to, I do I get to, like, sh- at least shove Mel? Maybe not hit him, but just shove him and say, you know why, if I ever see I him? I mean, like, I... I well, understand no, because then he won't know. It'll be either be that or his draft pick take. So, well, no, you, no, you no, have no. to He'll be know. more specific. They'll be like, who, who, he'll be like, who was that? I'm like, I uh, was... It was Hester. He was a fullback <laughs> back in the day, and he was like, oh, "Damn it!" The thing is, like, I understand. Um, we all go. We all do ridiculous segments and headlines because we all need views. It's what generates everything, right? It's why everybody will do something, saying, uh, "Is there a quarterback competition in Texas?" Arch Manning, and then immediately when the conversation starts, the answer is no. But let's talk about the Texas quarterbacks, but and it's because. Like, no, of course there's not, right? But we're all chasing headlines. But at a certain point, the fact that the producers and everybody chose to roll with a we should ban too high safety segment yeah. is actually insane. And you could see how incredulous Orlovsky and others were. Like, it's just it's just truly, truly uh, moronic. And Bell's not moronic. I, I Again, that's no. just a take that somebody should have shut down in the show planning <laughs> process. Do you think they were like, hey, we got to be wild today. We need somebody to go out there and say we got to ban two high safeties. Mel, unfortunately, you drew the short straw. I think I got to be you today, I Mel. Mean, <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. Maybe like may, maybe it was a producer that came up with it because it's hard to fathom that Mel would have. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.